Hi, I'm Rachel Burns. I'm a volunteer firefighter in Kyron, Iowa, and I'm going to read part of Fire Fire by Gail Gibbons because this is Fire Prevention Week 2020. I'll just read this section that's most like what I get to do. Fire Fire in the country. A barn has caught fire. A spark from an old electrical wire has ignited some hay. An emergency call is made to the fire dispatch center. This is a central fire dispatch center for several country towns. The dispatcher calls the volunteer firefighters in the town where the fire is. They get the message on their pagers. Volunteer firefighters must leave their jobs or homes to answer a fire alarm, day or night. They don't live at the firehouse. The volunteers hurry into their firefighting gear that they keep in their cars. Some go to the firehouse to get the fire trucks. Others will meet the trucks at the fire. Here come the volunteers. There isn't a fire hydrant here to supply water. The pumper truck carries its own water. It pumps the water through the hose and onto the fire. The pumper truck runs out of water. A tanker truck is standing by to help out. This fire is big. It might spread to the farmhouse. The fire chief calls the dispatch center for more equipment and firefighters. Another town is called for help. This time an alarm is sounded from the firehouse. Two more pumper trucks arrive with volunteers. There is a stream nearby. Water from the stream is sucked through a hose into one pumper truck, then pumped along to the other truck. The trucks spray water on the fire. The fire dies down. The fire is out. The farmhouse is saved. The chief makes notes for his official report while the firefighters help clean up. The volunteers return to their firehouses to clean their trucks and equipment. They will go back to their jobs and homes until they are called again. Thank you for listening. Please talk to your family about one thing you can do to be safe this week and all year long.